Hello, my name is Mark Shinusk, Senior Application Engineer with Silo Design Solutions. In this video, we will continue with the Autodesk Connector for ArcGIS Online. And today, we're going to go ahead and create data and content on ArcGIS Online with Civil 3D data by uploading it in the Output tab. Now, continuing on with the last uh, drawing that I made, I downloaded some uh, sanitary sewer uh, structures and pipes. Uh, in this particular drawing, I've gone ahead and I've added some, some storm sewer lines in with some road center line items as well. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to upload the storm sewer and the, uh, the center line alignments on my road to uh, ArcGIS Online using the Autodesk connector. Now, uh, I won't be able to modify the, the, you know, the existing uh, um, sanitary, let's say I made changes to this sanitary sewer here. Um, maybe I, I moved a particular structure over or I uh, went ahead and changed some pipe sizes or other data. I won't be able to use this tool to go ahead and uh, uh, copy that data and overwrite the existing one that I have up there. Um, the most I can do is copy a new file back up. Uh, but using this process, you should be able to uh, um, make that switch, you know, and, and get that data up there. Um, so in this drawing, I already have it set. If you remember from the last video, we had set this to um, Texas uh, 83, NAD 83, uh, North Central Zone. That's the Dallas area. Um, and we're going to go ahead and upload this data. So in Civil 3D 2020, I'm going to come over here to my output tab. And here you will see a icon for published to ArcGIS. If I go ahead and click that, uh, a new dialog is going to come up and it's going to uh, ask me to connect to my service. And then I'm going to get a dialog box that says, you know, publish to ArcGIS. Here are all my civil objects. You've seen this dialog box before when you're uploading or creating a LAN XML. Um, I'm going to use this uncheck all and I'm going to check the storm network. And I'm also going to come up here and I'm going to check my alignments. Okay. Now with that, I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And the next dialog that's going to come up is going to say, OK, choose your area of interest. It automatically chooses the limits of my, uh, my drawing area based upon the data that I'm uploading. So the extents, the drawing extents, um, you see it has created my area of interest. Um, I will hit Next. Um, it's going to ask me how I'm going to map the objects that I chose to the uh, GIS elements that I'm going to put up on ArcGIS Online. So the alignments I'm going to put in as a line object uh, with a layer name alignment. Pipes are going to be a line objects and I'm going to change this. I'll say uh, STM underscore pipe will be the layer name. Structures will be point and I'm going to change that to be STM structure. I'll click next. It's going to ask me for a name of my service. By default it chooses the drawing name um, I will just say uh, it's not going to allow spaces. You notice I get the yellow, yellow triangle there. I'm going to have to change and get rid of these spaces. Um, so I'll just call this uh, Siler underscore San. Oh no, sorry, uh, uh, STM Sewer uh, Data. Okay, that's going to be my service name. Um, summary. I'll call this uh, Storm Sewer with Road. Alignments, tags, I'm going to add some tags here. We'll say it comes from Autodesk. Um, it's going to have some streets. Uh, it's part of a site project. These are data uh, tags that I've used in the past. Utility, maybe I'll add custom. I can type one in here, storm. Okay, tab. Uh, I'll type another one, sewer tab. So I've added some more tags there. They'll become tags in my, my set. Uh, under advanced settings, I, I can enable editing and allow editors to add, update, or delete features on ArcGIS Online. I can share this with everyone, the public, if I wanted to put it to the uh, the, um, the Living Atlas, or only with Inside the Design Solutions, or with my collector demo. Okay, uh, I'll hit Next. And now it's going to ask me, I have some folders made up here. I have a folder called Civil 3D Connector Datasets. That's where I'm going to put it. And I will say publish. And once I do that, it's just going to publish this data up to ArcGIS Online. Um, it doesn't take very long. 
And once it has uploaded to the site, uh, we'll go ahead and it'll give me an option to view this data online. Um, so this data, you know, it, it, it works pretty well. Uh, so now here it says uh, Siler Storm data was published to ArcGIS. I can now go to view in ArcGIS online. And uh, here it's going to open up the website. I'll sign in with my login data. And it's going to zoom into my data. And here you can see uh, the layers that were published to this map. So I have my, my center line street alignments. Um, I have my sanitary, or sorry, my storm sewer uh, structures and, and uh, objects. So if I go ahead and I click on one of these pipes, here's the attribute data. So it's for my storm network. It gives me my diameters, my length, my start and, and inverts. These are all the standard civil 3D uh, attributes that go along with storm uh, and pipe networks. Uh, I'll pick on the center line. It's old settlers way. It's alignment, start and end station, uh, my reference point for my start station, um, and the length of my geometry. So you can see I get some standard attributes that have come in here. Um, I can then go ahead and, and download this if I had uh, other ESRI products, modify uh, some, some attributes, add to my data table, and expand on that. And that's the, the, the method for uploading data to ArcGIS Online using the Autodesk connector for ArcGIS uh, Online. If you have any questions, please go ahead and email me at uh, mchinesk at siler-ds.com or email us at cadtechnical at silerinst.com. Please don't forget to uh, view, subscribe, and uh, come to our blog at www at siler-ds.com forward slash blog for more tips, tricks, and news and information. And I have another couple more videos in the series, so stay tuned, and I hope this has helped, and see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.